Hello, everyone. Sorry about that technical difficulties. I think I figured it out. <laughs> but it's too loud. It's too loud. It's too loud. Too noisy. I said you're too noisy. I'm trying to hear this. Courtney? Sunday. Um, did you want to ask Martha now? I don't see Velma on yet. Okay. Uh, um, or in Marion also, you can ask her. Mom okay. looked at those and she wasn't sure on some of them, but she they look okay to her, but you need to check with Martha now or Marion. Okay. Um. Let me pull it up just a second. I think I see Miss Marion on here. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. Um, this is for our children uh, for the outreach next week. Um. I wanted to make sure that um, I had Allison and I have pronunciations of these and then who's um, helping us so that whenever the uh, we do this little activity for the kids that are attending the June 7th uh, language and culture camp 
will be able to learn um, about how to say parfleche and some shapes and colors. And so I have, I have it pulled up. Melody, am I able to share my screen? Oh, you okay. should be. Okay, so screen. Okay, I have it pulled up. Can you see it? Not yet. Uh -oh. Okay. Let me see here. Share content, share screen. Start broadcast. Okay. How about now? Oh. I'll try to make it as big as I can. So. They're gonna make a little small par flesh. Um, I'll show it to you guys. This is what it'll kind of look like. Um, if you can see, this is what the end will kind of look like, something like that, that they can make their own designs on. But it's a little activity with, um, they'll have a stencil with some goat rawhide and then they'll cut it out and do all the holes and kind of sew it up. And then these are the different, just some shapes that I pulled for them to use if they can't think of their own design. And then this is gonna be printed on a poster board by the language program. So um, I wanted to see if I could get uh, pronunciations for these so that we make sure that we are saying them correctly. Um, So, if um, is uh, Grandma Martha Nail on? Oh, uh, okay. And then, so we have the old son doll, and old son for 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 three or more, and then um, the shapes. <laughs> Old arm doll, dawn doll, dine saw doll, call doll, call doll doll, call doll, call doll doll, oh, call doll doll, yeah, call doll doll, okay, call doll means to be round, call doll doll. Okay. Um, aren't the real? You say Odell. Odell. Yeah. Like a wheel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a circle. Odell. Uh, it's Odell. Like circle is wheel. Done. Okay. Could we go through these and have uh, you guys say them? Okay. For us? And then the. These down here are, I'll zoom in. When we get to these, I can zoom in for the colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me, um, let's see here. Okay. Um, we have Miss uh, Marianne, Marianne, and then uh, Grandma Martha now, and Grandma D. Is there any others on? Can't I don't the... see Velma. Okay. So we could just go with D3 and then um, let's see. Anko. So we'll start with the first one. Right. The talk, the parfleche, the rawhide box. Uh, Grandma Martha. Old Sada. Old Sanda. Old Sanda. Sada. Uh, 
You might ask Mrs. Henson and Marion. Miss Marion. Jude. Okay, you said for the monks or the parfleche, as oh. the French word, parfleche. Oh. Oh, no. All time. I just say, oh, coy, all time. <laughs> Yeah, old coy is for the stuff you carry, like a suitcase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part, that first part, old, that means your personal stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old. Old, 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 Old Sando is what it sounds like to me. Old Sando. Old Sando. Okay. Hey, where, where did which um, where did this word spelling come from? Sando. From the um, the glossary. Whose glossary? You're talking about Parker's glossary. The mo modified one that we. You know. Uh, let me. I was going to say, I'm looking at that word now, and it almost sounds like old Shonda, old Shonda, because that's a small rawhide box. Oh, okay. Yeah, old Shonda. If it's small, it would be Sean. Yeah. 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 I think that's that better word, Sean, or small. Yeah, okay. it should be S H sound, not, yeah. not a T S. Old Shanda. Old Shanda. Old Shanda. Shan. Shan. Yeah, like the word. Shan, like in small. small. Mm -hmm. oh. Old Shanda. Old, like you say, Old Shan. Shan. Like a SH sound. Yeah, small. Old Shanda. Uh huh, Shan. that's it. You said it right. Say it three times, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Old Shanda. Uh huh. Oh, like see, S H O N, Sean. Mm -hmm. Old Shonda. Old Shonda. It's got that old history that spell. Yeah, Sean. It's old almost like Sean. Old Shonda. Old Shonda. Old Shonda. Yeah. Say it again, Courtney. I think. Old Shonda. That's it. You've got it. Old Shonda. So if she wanted to spell it, would she add a Y in there someplace? Shun? No, because you have that uh, nasal N in there. Okay. That's why right. you don't need a Y. Old Shonda. Old Shonda. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, okay. And then the so, next would be old Sean. Marion, what was the other word you said it, it could be? I just said old coy. Yeah. <laughs> That's like your suitcase. <laughs> That's just a bag. Yeah, your suitcase, a bag. Yeah. Old coy. Old coy. So if you're talking about this little bitty thing that's small, small. old Sean though. Like old Shonda. Mm -hmm. And that middle word, I always think about small. Sean. I think that should, that should not be a TS because TS is small. small. Okay. Old, old Shonda. Okay. And if you're phonetically saying it to keep it in mind, Courtney, uh, like she said, if you want to do that um, phonetics, uh -huh. I would say S-H-A-N, Sean. Mm -hmm. Old Shonda. 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 Old
S H A N. Okay. Yeah, Sean. So you remember it. Okay. All right, and made the note of it. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So we got the, the those ones. We'll go to the shapes. And let's see. We'll go in the same order. Um. Grandma Martha. Okay. Grandma D, and then uh, Miss Marion. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Olanda. Olanda. Tada. Tada. Um. What is that next one? I lost my I lost my computer reading here. Um Daisada Daisada Godalda Godalda. Okay. Uh Gramadi Olanda Dada Daisada. Uh Oh no, no. And Marion? Okay. Oh no, no. Die, Okay. Odo on the dying doll. Dying saw doll. Oh, doll. Oh, doll. Oh, doll. Get the ah. Uh, 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 no, uh, oh, okay. down. You said it's first two. Oh, uh, uh, down. Uh huh. That's it. Oh, uh, uh, down. Uh, down. Oh, okay. Got a little twisted there. <laughs> it's a circle. Uh, 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 okay. All right, and then we'll do. The colors. All right. We could do the colors in the same order. Ah, uh, co. Okay. Um, Gulda. Gulda. <clears throat> Soheido. Soheido. Asoheido. Asoheido. Kongeda. Kongeda. Gukoda. Gook oda, I da, I da, Pigul da, Pigul da, Say they da, Say they da, um, Kingul, Kingul a da, Kingul a da, Bai gul da, Bai gul da, uh, Paped eye, Paped eye. Well, I don't know all of them, but I'll do the best. Gulda, Gulda, say they, say they do, I say they do, Kongya do, Gukoda, I do, P Gulda, say they do. I don't know pink, so Marco, what is that? That's it. 
ピンクワード。キングワード。ピンクワード。キングワード。And the last two I don't know either. バイグルド。バイグルド。And ペイプトイ。ペイプトイ。That was my mother's Kiowa name, was Pape Daima. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like Grace Horse Woman, you know. Mm. 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 Grace Horse Woman. Mm -hmm. Pape I like that. Yeah, Pape Daima. I should use it for one of my. <laughs> My name's oh. yeah, that was my mother. Her name was Jessie Colley. Pretty, I hope for sharing that. Okay, Miss uh, Marion. Okay. Google the red, blue, so hey, the green, ah, so hey, the black, conge, the yellow, gook, o the white, tiny, the brown, pig, goodle, the purple, sate, a the pink, king, the orange, but, goodle, the And gray is piped up. Ho ho. Good. Oh, okay. I'll say them. Good dog. So hey dog. Ah, so hey dog. Conge dog. Gook o dog. Tie dog. Be good dog. Say a dog. King gula dog. Buy good dog. Picked I. Good. Good pronunciation. Okay. So I'm going to, um, we will share these. Make sure we're pronouncing them right and then share them with our um, students next week, next Friday. So, um, Alisan and I, I think we'll be working on this and um, mm -hmm. I think we'll have helpers. I hope. So, I hope, thank you all very much for um, helping with this. I've, it's kind of been in the works for a little bit and I haven't had a chance to pull it up here at the, on the um, groups. Oh, son. Mm -hmm. Oh, son. Olshan, Olshan, small box. <laughs> That'll be. Do you remember if somebody said, oh, "I'm quite," or oh, you said, "Shonde, Shonde," I know a little, you know. Ah, oh. Shonde, yeah, okay, little. Okay. Obaha, that's all for me. Oh. Is there any other um, things I might need to make note of? I can do that. You don't, oh, Courtney, you don't need to make note of it, but uh, I'll ask Martha, Nell, and Marion. There's another word, uh, Gute.
for your are they your really prized possession? Oh, oh, it's Goodell. 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 Okay. Because yeah. goo is your stuff. <laughs> Not goo. <laughs> Goodell. Yeah, goo that's yeah. it. Goodell. Yeah. Goodell. Yeah. Respect it. Take care. <laughs> Goodell. <laughs> oh, I like Good that. Tail. Good bell. Good bell is your good stuff. Good, good uh, bell. Good bell, not good bell. Bell. Good bell. Yeah, that's the P all sound. Was. It's a P sound. Yeah, good, good bell. bell. And that's your good stuff. Your yeah, very expensive your, stuff. That's your good. designer stuff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good bell. Mm -hmm. Is there a um <clears throat> is there another word for green like Hollande soye? <laughs> There is such a word. I'm trying to think what the connection is with that. Um, I heard it came from the, um, like whenever uh, a buffalo or a deer was gutted, then that mm -hmm. bile that's it's in that there. Bile. It's like that bile, I think. Mm -hmm. Is that what you heard? Oh. Uh-huh, bile, that bile green. Oh. Mm-hmm. What was that? What was that word you said? Excuse me. All day soye. Yeah, all day soye. The color of a bile. And I also heard another one for pink was a tail goodle, or like that chalk, chalk red. Tail goodle. Goodle? Tail goodle? Oh. Oh, that's. To look that up. <laughs> it's almost like a red powder you're talking about, the color. Oh. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know if it was since it was finer. <clears throat> yeah. Or in yeah. Tail is state. powder and ghoul. It's that red. Tail ghoul. Oh, okay. Probably like a rouge, you know. Oh, oh okay. Oh, that word. What what's the word you said? Excuse me again. Tail goodle. Can you tail goodle? Did you did you say pale or tail? Tail. The T. T. Okay. Thank you. What is tail? Is that that ball you clean yourself with? You're talking about that chalk, chalky stuff. Yeah. That's that powder. No, I think that's what they're referring to. When Except it's a red rouge, red mm -hmm. powder. Yeah. Red clay. It's a red clay. All right. Well, Courtney, that was awesome. Uh, oh, for sharing that with. Okay. Oh, I'm looking forward to it next week. Exciting.
Courtney. Courtney, I can. Oh, oh, go ahead. Excuse me. I'll just talk it to Courtney. If you want to practice it again a day before you do it or that day, you can call me. We'll go over it again. Oh. oh. Okay. Allison and I will do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Courtney and Allison, I can send you a copy of the recording from tonight. So you can have that if you need to listen to it beforehand. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sounds good. All right, let's see. Does anyone else have questions? Things that they'd like to get input on? Oh, uh, beg about side thought. Oh. Uh, I was reading a uh, a recording from I think it was one of the Indians for Indians uh, radio. There's a couple of students from Moses Pulo, and um, there was a portion where um, a student says something uh, like "segun da," and then the other student tells him "emoi thoi." And then right after he says that, um, he adds uh, something to the effect of point uh, on y'all. Point on y'all or on y'all. Point on y'all. Mm. I, could, I couldn't really figure out what that apart from the um you know the action or that of course the question and the pronoun but i'm not sure what that on y'all is but i don't know if he's also saying i didn't hear you no, or if it, where, where, what were they talking about what were they what was the conversation about dogs uh, <laughs> dogs <laughs> Yeah, it was let me let me pull it up real quick. He um it's just a conversation between students uh talking about like animals. Um and then he says uh in de hon de da what uh what is this? And then the um what uh, one of the students says Segun da and then the other student says Amoy Thoi. Hi, hi, all y'all. Let me. He's crazy. He said, say it again, but then, okay, the, another question is were these uh, Kiowa speaking students? Yes. Or were they just learning language? Well, uh, they were language. I mean, were they, were they native? I, I, I mean, were, who was speaking? The Talkai. Oh. The Talkai missionary students. Hmm. Let's see. Um, Is that can... right, Mama? Oh. And let's see. The two students I'm trying to hate hey, though. Um, the two students were, let's see if I can pull it up, David and Charles. Um, and this is a recording from August of 1956. Um, so then it starts off with, Honde on de aim san, aim hey be. Oh, get ah, get. They saw him Honde ah, a time a coo ah. Hoim dam get dog. Oh, a dam get dog. Get saddle. 
Ho Gekko Dosan Yan Lim Sai Hayato So To Ende Honde Do Segun Do Emoi Toy Hoen On Yo And then he repeats it Segun Do Batonke Segun Do Hot Aya Toy I think that one word, it, if they were non-touch speakers, you probably didn't quite get that one word correctly. Yeah. Could it be on that all, y'all? It could be, because I do know some of those... Um, Sometimes those older mics weren't able to pick up the ejective sounds, those popping sounds sometimes. So it, it could it could be that as well. And then on that um Hot agatoi. Hot agatoi. Is that him saying, did I say that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll have to listen to the recording again on that particular part. Um, but at least what was uh what little of it that was transcribed, it just has it written down as um after he says a moi toy, it just has it as hoing on yo. Hoing on yo. It almost sounds like I'm just guessing, but right now, but it sounds like are you giving that to me? Are you giving oh. them to me? Subject dogs. <laughs> Right. It almost sounds like that, but I'd have to kind of hear that recording too. Well, I'll see. I'll see if I can play it real quick. Okay. okay. Thank you, uh, Comanches. Can you hear this? Next we have is a Kiowa conversation by my two students, David and Charles. On the on the song, in hey be ah get ah ya, be so in on the ah a time a cool ah on dam get ah. A dam get a kesham. A gecko dosa. Tell him safe. Ayato so to. A de on de do. Segun do. A moin toy. On it all ya. Segun do. A tonga. Segun do. On it all get toy. Aya and Toya. On Haya, get so teto. On this all, they get yondo. Oh, I don't get more him. Oi de hon de do, on segundo. On segundo, ma, bao do. Bao do, oi ah get toy. Oh, come on do. On it. Oh, get so. Ah, oh, get called also. A uh, cobot. Ah, uh, oh, M. Coba. Thank you. Uh. Hmm. 
Let me see if I can rewind it a little bit. But yeah, I think on now that I heard it again, I think there is that it misses that pop. So he might say, uh, well, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah i think okay i think he does say honat oh yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's missing that T pop T sound, like you said. I think that's why we can't quite hear it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then there, there is that. I know you can say hona to yo, but can you say hon aim hon aim to yo? I didn't hear you. Or would that not be correct? Honat Oya means I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Oh. Honat Oya. Oh, okay. So that Kona is on. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Obaha no atsaeto. Oh, awesome. Good question. Anyone else have questions? Melody. Monday. Monday and Sonic, huh? Um, for our uh, mentors, just want to have them go through and give me the correct pronunciation for animal names I have. <clears throat> um, oh. starting, starting with the ba'o, that cat, ba'o. That dog, rabbit, squirrel, those are the first ones. Cat, is this Bao? Yeah, that's a short one for it. It's supposed to be Bao Tail, but they, bao tail. they say Bao Tail means a little cat, but Bow is what they always call it now. 
Yeah, or, it's short. It's short. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and say, again, a horse, a dog, rabbit, polahi, 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 polahi. Okay, squirrel, zontabe, zontabe. 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 Okay, yeah, it has the bay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Prairie dog, sa, sa, saro. It's that saro thing. Okay, like the song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the saro dog. Okay, okay. Uh, on holiday, on holiday. Bear. Bear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, say, say, oh, of course. Pig. Yes, right. Pink, yeah. On, on, gobby. On gobby. On gobby. Oh, our own food. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our own. Yes. Uh, um, be. Okay. And uh, saying bow. Saying bow. To cat. Cat. Now is saying bow. Saying. Saying. Saying bow. Saying bow. Bow. Okay. Like oh. a bird. Sing. Hawk. That one kind of. Can you pronounce that? So good. So mm -hmm. good. So, so good. good. So good. Say it again. So good. So, so, so good. Yeah, so good. Okay. So good. Okay. And um, oh, let's see. I have any other one. Ah, uh, donkey, donkey, donkey. On, on, hard sound there. Donkey. Ah, uh, don. Okay, donkey. Yeah, donkey. Donkey. Okay. Donkey. Oh. Okay. Um. Also, I want something in it to on the inside, though. Um, take ya, tape, take ya, take ya, tape, take ya. They, 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 I guess I got mixed up. Take ya, tape, they go, tape, they go, tape, they go. Uh -huh. They, 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 they're all relations. We're all relations, yes. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, they, they, so, uh, they, they, yeah, they, 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 yeah, you could put that they, uh, pronoun they, yeah. in there too. Okay. They, yeah, they, 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 All right. Oh, Judy. Anyone else have questions?
I have a question, Melody. Monday. Uh, are you, you uh, next week going to have that outreach on Wednesday, next Wednesday? Uh, outreach? Yeah. <laughs> on your well, I was looking at uh, Courtney's uh, stuff and I thought that's when it was. I didn't have a date on that. Oh, uh, Courtney. Oh, that's on, I'm um, sorry, that's on um, Friday, June 7th at the complex, all in person. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was part of this, this group. Never mind. Okay. It's the yeah, Indian yeah, that's yeah. Kiowa language camp. Okay. Hopefully we'll get to uh, record some of the camp so that way we can share the video with everyone. Um, excuse me. Martha, I just thought of another word for squirrel, mm -hmm. which is saw on the tongue. Busy yeah. tail. Yeah, saw on Busy tail. Saw on the tongue. That's squirrel. That's saw. also somewhat. Yeah, saw on the tongue means to be a good worker. And then tail is that, you know, because it has a long bushy tail. <laughs> Busy tail. Busy worker. You saw oh good worker. Mm -hmm. Oh Nora, did you hear that about this girl? No. Saw so, um, because it's a busy worker. Saw so, oh, all detail. Saw oh. so, oh, all day. Not all day. Oh, detail. Detail. I like that better. <laughs> Song on <the> detail. <laughs> I can say it better <laughs> with more confidence. Oh, so on the detail. Yeah, on the tail. Yeah, busy tail. <laughs> Well, let's see. Uh, would anyone like to give any updates? I sort of have a question for the uh, <clears throat> this kind of for the program a little bit, um, but a question to the uh, teacher candidates is: um, Is anyone over the summer going to try to complete um, one of the levels for credentialing? Oh, oh, oh level two! If I can ever get catch up with them. <laughs> With Dane, <laughs> and that, that that reminds me also. Um, to, do we have that uh, story? Um, one of the sto the stories are they online? The ones that are in Kiowa, Melody. Um, I think the ones that we've been working on, like the PowerPoint one with the with the mm -hmm. audio. I think that's yes. in. Is I think it's in Teams. Is it in Teams or? Maybe Dane sent it to us. I don't remember. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. It's in the stories. 
uh, on your, uh, what's that, Alicia, um, T-Bone stories? Oh, you gotta go, you gotta go into that one, and it, it's in there somewhere. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, but, Ramon. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. No, you're okay. That, but yes, that's a haul for sure. It's got to get there. Ramon. On day. Hey, are we able to go to uh, um, to the office where you're where you're working and and complete like the um, kinship or anything like that with you? Um, possibly. Uh, you might have to ask Dane on that. I think that is um, that is something that can be done. Well, that's what uh, said that one time that you were able to do the kinship. And I think, the, I don't know if it's a, I, I think I need the kinship and the pronouns. I, I think, sure. Oh, and I know he changed a little bit of stuff on the, like the level one conversation. Um, it's something that you, you translate now. Yeah, I got that done. I, th I think I just need the kinship. I didn't know if it's, I could just come to you. At, I mean, it's just some work that's convenient for me to, you know, or we can do it here on Wednesday. We had a um, another room, right? Yeah, um, yeah. We'd be able to do it at the office, and I think it's just the kinship that I'd be able to do. I think Dane would want to um, take over on the pronoun part. So, okay. Are you going to be uh, free next Wednesday? Or what's a good time for you next week? I think, uh, Cricket and Courtney, did we decide the walkthrough was going to be on that Wednesday at 10, right, in Carnegie? Oh. oh. Okay. I, I think just after that, I think probably I'll be, I think we might be, I might be back to the office by noon or one. Uh, so anytime after that uh, on Wednesday would be fine. Well, how about Thursday? Yeah, Thursday would work too. Okay. In the morning, uh, sometime. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll come. I'll come get with you and do that kinship. And I'll get with Dana and see what I got left for level one. It's taking me oh. forever. Okay. All right. I hope. And uh, just a little, uh, I don't. This might be a helpful hint, um, but for the pronouns, what I was doing, um, I know we would be doing those spaced repetitions, like saying stuff over and over again. Um, but what I found that was really helpful was going over the uh, the noun set, which would be uh, tho, segun, segun da. Uh, all of those, and then using the um, pronoun charts for them specifically, like the basic verb chart for doll, um, as well as the bon to see, um, on to give. Um, and then what I did there was kind of taking, uh, I'd stick with one verb it's like doll and then just 
go over, like write it out uh, in Kiowa um, for each of them, like Segun Da, or it's a dog. Segun and Da, they're two dogs. Um, and then so like, and then going uh, with the long form uh, for Segun Da Da. For three or more and then kind of just doing that with each noun but still sticking with doll it is um so i mean that that helped me a lot uh just doing that kind of that repetition in writing because then it i think i heard somewhere if you write something out it sticks with you longer rather than just reading it if that helps any Oh, that's what I do. I write it, write it, oh. write it. Since we have a little bit of time here, um, uh, this is Martha. I want to uh, talk to Judy. Can you uh -oh. hear me? Huh. Yeah. A while ago when you were talking about that relationship, we all related. Oh. I wanted to, um, I think I just gave you one version of it. I said, they get, they, they doll. But you could also use get in there too, instead of just yeah. Because that means uh, everyone is related, or we all are related. Oh. Just depends on your sentence, you know, what, what are you saying? Oh. So those two pronouns can be used in that. Gya yeah, and then got. Yeah. Oh. The first one, we're all related, and then the other one. Well, the second one is we all related. The other one is everyone is related. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, two differences in those um, pronouns. Oh, she's getting big, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. Her hair Ooh. is growing. Oh, I know. It's wild woman over here. We call her crude, you know, the baby off the crudes. She's like that. We call her feral. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm not on. <laughs> Let's see. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> 
Her baby Einstein's on. She loves that. Yeah. She's too cute. <laughs> that other thing that helps, um, Judy, if you're doing your, um, like that writing down is really good for what Ramon was saying. But in your reading, the thing that would help is listening, listening back to how you sound compared, like record yourself. Then listen how you sound to um the uh the other recorded reading reader. Or I guess a reader is a storyteller. Oh. But yeah, like how Ramon did it with that writing, um, it was it made it more understandable for the pronouns. Hey. She's looking. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Her bottle came in. <laughs> hey. 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 Hi. Hi. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> Hello. I know she's very boisterous. So in the it. Yeah, I want to teach her so many words and you know in Kiowa it's like I mean, she knows the basics, you know, but then where do you go from there? You know, it's like you got the whole hands, you know, head, feet, you know, just where do you start? You know, <laughs> do that. Uh, you know, that head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yeah. You know, make baby, stuff up like that. Baby Einstein plays that. That's her favorite one, too. My kids loved Baby Einstein. I got yeah. all the videos. They're so fun. Well, now they just stream it and it can nonstop. Oh. That's all watching, you know. I, I like to watch the news every once in a while, but now she's to the point now where she's demanding. Yeah, Peacock streams it. Oh, yeah, Peacock streams it. Right. We did a Thade, Mock On, Mon, and then we'd have to go down and touch her on. So he said, thought a muck on, mon and on, mon and on, thought a oh, muck neat. on, mon. Me, I did that with my kids. Huh. So Ma. I just did that because it worked better because shoulders were different. You know, some of the words are harder to say and those like fit better into the song. And then you have to bend down you really fast when you get faster. So the kids liked it. I have to try that with another. She really gets off on that um, Beso and Beha. And then that taught her how to, when I told her to, you know, to Beha, she stood up in her walker and then she took off. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and that was that, you know, so. <laughs> oh, just that aim ah. Yeah. Aim, ah. <laughs> And then things around the table when she gets older, too. Right. 
Yeah, right now it's Galze for milk, and uh, I didn't know if we had one for uh, for bottle. Hmm. Uh, I want to. I want. Is there one for bottle? Hmm. Is it hey got aim side though? Uh, I saw bottle. Uh wait a minute. Um Pato and Dongya bottle. Onion high, go. Maybe you'd have to say what's in the bottle. So, like, go, Zay. Uh, so you just say gall zape and then that's it. So <laughs> oh, last time it really helped. Um, to work on those pronouns, so Melody, where are you? <laughs> on day. I was just wondering where you were. Thought somebody <laughs> came to the <your> door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm driving. I had to go pick up dinner, so I'm <laughs> driving. I can't share my screen right now. But uh, I hear we all want to practice on pronouns again. <laughs> Next time. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I mean, it's a little, I think we're already at time. But Wednesday, uh, we can get the pronouns, continue practicing, and see if we can yeah. work through our level two. Yeah. But how we did it last time was helpful to me. We did singular stuff. We went back over level one because I, you know, I don't remember it, but it was helpful. It helped me, you know, and then we got to see like this pattern going on. That was good. So, Ramon Guthohin Tali did when you um, when you did your uh level two, did you also did he also throw in level one nouns or just the level two nouns? Um it was a mixture of all of them, to be okay. honest. I also prepared for um for all of them just in case. Um, because they kind of flow into one another. Yeah. Uh, and let's see if I can get out the thing that I went over. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a mixture of all of them. Um, but I think a slight focus on the level two um but honestly it seemed it seemed more of like the the pronouns were um being used more um kind of like the more of the possessive or mental ones and as well as the three part um, okay here i'll uh share my video real quick was it like they asked you in kiowa and you got to an answer or is it they ask in English. And... Yeah, level level one is Kiowa to English, and then level two was English to Kiowa. So he would, um, he asked me, um, for instance, like, 
he would say they are flowers. But then also, too, for context, I would ask how they, how many. Um, and then he'd say like two or three. So then I'd have to, if it was two, <clears throat> I'd have to say like, I can go in and do. Uh, or if he was saying, um, I saw the three flowers or something like that. Um, then I'd have to say, I can get, get bone. Um, and say, uh, I think there was another one like, um, as well with the, it is like, it is my shirt as well. Um, or it is his shirt. That that one was kind of a little tricky one. Um, but then I had to say hold on door. Um, so real quick, I'll turn my yeah, real quick. Hold on, it's gonna take me out of here. Mm. Oh, uh, Melody, can you let Ramon back in? And uh, I guess he needs to share a screen, but something happened where he got booted out. Sorry about that. Let's see. Okay. okay. Dang, can I not switch? Okay, I guess I can't switch my camera. But um if y'all can really see this. Okay. Um so this is kind of just what I went over. Um well, I started off with having all the nouns together. And then this classification, uh well, I mean there are different noun classes but anyway um so then i just did the boxes like basic and then two part for um i saw you saw he saw and same thing with the possessive or mental um it's mine it's yours it's hers or theirs um and then really on the two part is just the well sorry on level two the only three part is it's mine or uh give it to me or stuff like that uh, there's not really a give it to her or um, give it to you or I gave it to you, anything like that. But um, kind of then what I did was just, like I said, go go through them all. Um, and I started off with um, basic verb, doll, and then went to um, bon, but then I did it each time as like I saw it or I saw the two, I saw the three, and then you saw one, two, and three, then he saw or one, two, and three, and then went over into the possessive, it's mine, all of that, then the um, it's yours, then it's hers or his, and then finished it off with um, the give it to me, um, so that's that's what I did on on those. So that's how I was able to kind of really retain it a little bit better. Um, so yeah. 
Yeah. That's and awesome. And on some of them, I had to, um, like, for example, because um, Dane talks about how, like, though for house is always singular, mm -hmm. uh, so the pronoun doesn't really change. Mm -hmm. uh, but kind of what I just would put in parentheses is like, ye or pao or whatever number just to give that it's two, you know, if there needs to be anything specific. Um, but, and the same thing with like shirt, shirt is always plural. Um, so the pronoun usually doesn't change on that. Um, so, but that's, that's also where the noun classes classification kind of would help a little bit. Um, just figuring out what things are, uh, always singular or always plural or if something changed, like um, like do day um, would could be singular, um, dual, plural, um, which would be like do day do, it's a shoe, um, do day ain't do, they are two shoes, do day get do, they are shoes, um, and then where it starts getting into that ID or the I just means inverse or Dane changed it to long form. Um, so that would be like the a king got is that inverse or long form. Whereas a king yeah is not its long form. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with a doll is that inverse for tree or the long form. And then a is just not the long form. Uh, same thing with ala ga or ala, and then segun, segun da. I, I think I'm good with like the nouns and the verbs. It's it's literally just the pronouns. I just get so, such a little tiny sound to mean so much. It tells oh. you so much, <laughs> that little tiny sound. And I think sometimes like, because of not knowing pronouns, it makes me not want to talk in Kiowa because I know I won't get the pronoun right. <laughs> I'm like, so you don't really know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, a, a shoe over there, but whose is it? What do I want? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just feel, I know I won't get the pronoun right. Now, I don't I don't know if it helps um, to because whenever we were first doing those sentence practices, um, like I would throw in more information at the beginning, like to differentiate to differentiate like what is going to be said later on in this in the in the sentence. Um, kind of like. Um, Like um, well, it, it kind of like this shoe. Uh, yeah, um, where you could throw in like no, or mm -hmm. you can in um a person themselves, um, mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> uh, like if you wanted to say, um, well, if I was talking to you, you know, I could say, um. See, you know, ta bien, uh, ha bon. You know, did you, did you see her? So, like, but 
if I just said ha bone, you could like you could get lost in that. But if I gave you the da bing, then you know I'm talking about Courtney. Then it kind of helps. Like okay, you're talking to me, but we're talking about someone else. Okay. Yeah. And it, and it didn't have a pronoun in it. So, I mean, it has a hashtag. Right? Uh, for, well, that, that'd that be if. Oh, that is. That would be shit. I don't know. See? I don't know. Well, like, if you think, uh, well, one thing I always remember growing up would be any time, you know, living living here with grandma, um, I would always hear a bon and she'd either have something in her hand or she'd point with her lips. Mm -hmm. And up, I mean, really up until I under, I started to learn more of the pronouns, then I'm, I knew, oh, OK, she wasn't just saying look, but she was saying you look at it or you look at this. Oh, OK. You look at it. Yeah. Not just you look, but you look at it. Oh. OK. Yeah. OK. Bop, boom. And what's that one? Bot phone. Bot phone. Look at it. Oh. You look at it. Oh. Well, what's a bone? Then you're changing pronouns there. Yeah. What What is That's that one? A bone. Um, if you're saying that one. Okay. Um. What's your uh, noun on that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh. How about Sagoon? Yeah, say you and I bone. You look at the dog. Okay. But then if you wanted to, you say uh say goon dog bot bone. Look at all mm -hmm. the dogs. Yeah. Okay. So singular and singular, singular and plural. Singular and plural sounds is what you're making. So bot is the plural one and ah is the singular one. Mm, it's yeah, that's a singular okay. for okay. Bot is always cool. Uh, bone. Also, one of the things I heard in those recordings, um, was um, Hyundai bot all ma. Hyundai bot all ma. What are you doing? Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, I was just Hyundai bot all ma. What are you doing? Oh, so either either or either one of those can be used. Hyundai at all more or Hyundai bought all more. Yeah, you could use them both ways. Well, why why could you do that? Why could you use both of them? Does one mean one person you, and then the other mean more than one person? You all? Only about all. I think, I think both would still just be directed towards the person you're talking to. But I guess whatever, like if you're looking at something, it could be one thing that you're looking at. Or if you're doing one thing, it could be that one thing you're doing. Or if you're looking at a bunch of stuff, you know, then there's that bot. Or if you're... Doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you just doing in general might be like, but, but if you're saying, what are you doing? Just like one thing. Like if you're looking at somebody and they're picking something up and they're doing that one thing, maybe that's when you'd say, ah, Hyundai ah, ah, ma. Hyundai ah, ah, ma. What are you doing? Hyundai ah, ah, ma. Hyundai bot alma, you're kind of getting to a detail now. You want to know what they're really doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. the yeah. Like, what you're doing. What is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, you were making a necklace or something. You'd say, Copa, get alma. Opa, get all oh, mama making the necklace. That would be just a simple answer, I think. Okay.
Okay, so Ramon. On so day. That, that old pa. Okay, so the class of noun that is to go with yet. I am. Necklace I am making. Okay, so that's like a singular. Mm hmm because I'm the only one working on that right now. <laughs> uh, and, and the necklace is singular? Uh-huh. Okay, so that, that pronoun is a singular. Yeah, because you're the one working on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. But I think like like how Ramon's done, if if we can learn these, it will get us over second level learn. Um, these that'll give it get us over the hump and help us be able to talk to each other just a tiny bit more with a little bit, you know, we can make our own sentences with these knowing the pronouns. Cause I can't um, I can't make the right sentences without it. Aho, uh, Ramon. I mean, good to hear Tali. Oh, hey, they must. Well, aho for getting on, everybody, and thanks for the pronoun help. I'm going to pop off because I have an early meeting in the morning. I got both of them on stall. Um, oh, okay. Um, Piho Gemma. On day. Uh, they pot get dog side. Oh, they dog side. Oh, my mom told me. They only get dog side taint to the eyes on feeling. I hold to get all my dog people. Yan tata mongo, tarik doki and do. And they taught the daughter a tiger. Garton gig a hard it or give my arm make your scope me. I'm Tom Fader gig. You hide it or the or the a on dog or the. You only yet get Tom done and so lucky on the dog. Oh, you do. And Tom Dog will go, oh, the animal. And the side of dog, they only in high get up. Honey, oh, boy, don't go to the in high get up. They go to the door, they ate for the party, so go. They own time, so he ain't I get up. I eat coffee, the dog's out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I hope. Oh, uh, with that, I go by oil bomb, though. Oh, 